Dear students, today we'll be learning in a simple way how to prepare triple column cash book or three column cash book, which is there for undergraduate first year students who are studying CEC group and MEC group, and for BCom first year from both the states, Telangana states, all universities, and Andhra Pradesh state, all universities. Now I'll be doing problem number 19 from the Telugu Academy textbook of Intermediate First Year prescribed by the Board of Intermediate Andhra Pradesh as well as Telangana State. Thank you. If you do like my video, please do share with your friends who are studying Intermediate First Year as well as BCom First Year and do not forget to subscribe for me. Now I'll be teaching triple column or three column cash flow. 2018 Normal first Cash in hand 10,000 Two balance brought down Cash in bank, debit 5000. Sorry. And normal web sales, that means we are receiving cash and we are selling goods. So all the receipts should be taken on debit side. So it will be. Two sales. I just two thousand five hundred. And number eight, the purchases. We are purchasing goods and we are making payment to cash. Number eight, by purchases. And it will be 1800 in the cash column. Contra, then 19th, 
particulars opposite what is opposite to bank it is to cash and credit side is the cash i'll take on the cash credit side is 6000 lf column c which denotes contract and date will be 19 Particulars will be opposite. What is opposite to cash? It is by bank. And next one is November twenty second by cartage. It is a payment printed on the credit side. Four hundred. And next one is number twenty third. Check issue to Sudhir. So we are giving a check to Sudhir. That means it is a payment. We are taking on the trade side by Sudhir. Three thousand eight hundred in the bank column because it is a check. Actually, we has to make payment of. Four thousand to Subir, but he is asking us to pay only three thousand eight hundred. That means the remaining two hundred is discount. So he is giving us concession. So it is discount received. Number twenty fifth, cash withdrawn from bank or office use. So if you see my notes, number one, contract increase. Point number B. Withdrawn from bank for office use, so it is a contract entry. So contract entry in the beginning of this problem, I am told it will come two sides. First time on the debit side, second on the credit side. So most of the students they make mistake while posting on the debit side and credit side. So my simple logic is make a journal entry of it and make the ledger posting. Make a journal entry of it and make the ledger posting. So in the journal entry, it will be cash account and account bank. Who is what we are receiving? We are receiving cash given as bank. So on the debit side, well, debit cash account, cash account two thousand eight hundred. Another column C, which denotes contract. Say twenty third. Particulars will be opposite. What is opposite to cash to bank? And credit side is bank. I take in the credit side bank column two thousand eight hundred. End of column C is denotes contract day twenty fifth. Particulars opposite. What is opposite to bank cash? So I take by cash as particulars. And number thirty, the last transaction. A uh, number, sorry, number twenty-seven wages. It is a payment by wages account. Six hundred. The last transaction under problem number nineteen of triple column or three column cash book from the Telugu Academy textbook is number thirty received rent through Paytm. So through bank transaction we are receiving rent. So all the receipts will be taken on the debit side. So we will take two rent. In the bank account because we are getting rent through Paytm, so it is directly debited into the bank account. So now we have posted all the transactions in the three column or triple column cash flow. Now we will put the totals. The discount allowed will be put on the same column. Debit side two hundred 
and on the great side of this town you see it will be 200 and now cash and cash we will make the balancing like a ledger account we will make balancing of bank account like a ledger account now we will see which side is higher total if you see on my left side debit side the cash account is having more total I will put debit side total first It is 20,100. I will put the same thing on the right side. From this 20,100, I will deduct what all payments I have made. Then I will come to know what is my closing cash balance. I will come to know what is my close cash balance. It is 7,800 and on November 30, one penny day, I will close this cash account by balance carrying down and now I will balance my bank account. I will see which side is more. I am finding on the debit side 5,000 plus 6,000. It is coming more on the debit side, that is 11,200. I will put the same amount on the credit side also. And from this 11,200, I will deduct what all payments I have done through my bank. So, my closing bank balance is. 4,600. So these closing balances will be carried forwarded to next month. So this is the month of November. According to English calendar year, after November month is December. So I take on December first. Two balances brought down. Seven thousand eight hundred and four thousand six hundred. Dear students, with this I have made twelve videos of triple column or three column cash book. All the twelve problems are of Telugu Academy textbook of intermediate first year prescribed by Board of Intermediate Education. Telangana state and Andhra Pradesh state but this particular topic triple column cash book or three column cash book it is not only helpful to the students of intermediate first year MEC CEC group but also it is useful for BCom first year students who are studying BCom computers BCom general BCom honors of all the universities in Telangana state and Andhra Pradesh state so if you like my videos all the 12 videos of three column or triple column cash book kindly do share with your friends of intermediate and bcom and don't forget to subscribe for me and any comments please do share with me through my gmail thank you